I'm excited to start a new primordial telenovela story. Remember how I told you Earth was never meant to be Enki or Enlil or Anu's domain, but that of the former king Alalu? But to fully understand the story, we need to go back in time on Nibiru so I can tell you exactly what happened. Before the Anunnaki ever came to Earth, they lived on their planet Nibiru, which has a long history. The Anunnaki history on their planet starts by describing tribal men. They show how first they fought with sticks, and then they evolved and created weapons, more or less like everything that happened here on Earth. North and South warred together, and brothers fought against brothers. After so much warring, North and South both had sustained extreme damage and extreme life loss. So a truce was made. Efforts to make peace were made. The tablet goes on to describe, Let nations come together. Let there be one throne on Nibiru, and let there be one king to rule it all. One king that rules over everything. Let a leader by chance be chosen, either from north or south. If a north man was chosen to be king, then let a woman from the south be chosen to be his queen, and vice versa. Let them become husband and wife. Let them become one flesh. Let their firstborn son take over after them, thus creating a unified dynasty. That brings peace on Nibiru for good. Peace began in north and south were unified by marriage and the royal throne became one body. And a line of kings this way went on without a break. After peace, the king chosen was an influential man from the north. He was a very well-respected leader, and he was chosen by drawing lots. He was honest and fair, and his decisions were respected. He built a beautiful city to live in, and it was called Archon, which means unity. He was given a title for his rule, which meant the Celestial One, which meant he was king. He brought law and order back to Nibiru, and he did this by force. He made rules and laws and put governors in charge of each land. The royal records, it clearly says that he brought peace and stability back to the planet. And he chose a woman from the south as his bride. She was known for both love and war. Antu was her royal name, and it meant a leader, who was Anu's spouse. She had three boys but no girls with Anu. She named her first son Anki, which means solid foundation, and he sat on the throne alone. When he was king, the choice of a wife was put off twice, and he filled the palace with concubines.